Page 93, question number 2. For each of the following, draw a sketch and give an answer. Find the following areas under the normal curve. Normal curve with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. And to start, I'm just going to make a rough sketch of this normal curve. So, normal curve with a mean of 0, standard deviation of 1. So here I'll put negative 1. And over here, I'll put positive one. So part A says we want to know the area to the left of 0.54. So looking at this graph, 0.54 is right about here. Now, the area to the left of that, let's think of this as a percentage. We're looking at this entire region in here. OK. Under the normal curve is 100% or has an area of 1. So what's shaded in is definitely over half. I don't know, maybe about 3 quarters of the entire area is shaded in. So we expect an answer on that first one of about 0.75, about 3 quarters. OK, we can find an exact answer using our calculator. So I'm going to just put this aside for now. And there's our calculator. And a command for that, if I press the second key, and I want to get into this distribution menu. The command for that is normal CDF. So I want to find the area under the normal curve between, now it's everything from negative infinity up to 0.54. So I can type that in by saying negative, and then if I type second comma, an E appears, and then 99. So this is from negative infinity up to comma 0.54 then another comma in here, and the last two things I need are 0 and 1, the mean and standard deviation. So if I press enter, I get an answer of about 0 0.70, which is about what we expected. So this area under the shaded, or the shaded region under the curve is has an area of about 0.7, or 70%. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now we need the area between negative 1, which is here, and 1.44, which is over here somewhere. So now we're talking about this area. Again, this is a pretty good sized area. I don't know, I'd guess it's about 80% that I just shaded in. Let's use our calculator to figure out exactly what that percentage is. So again, I'll go in that distribution menu, get that normal CDF command. And I need, first of all, the borders of the region, negative 1 up to 1.44. The last two things we need are easy because they're always given to us, the mean and standard deviation. And if we do that, I'm going to bring this screen over here, we get an answer of about 0 0.76, 0 0.77 or so.